But the, the footnote thing was, it was quite uh, funny because I wrote this little thing about being absolutely allergic to David Foster Wallace, who many people think in, sort of invented the long footnote. Uh, but the footnotes are there because this was the main structural problem posed by the, the, the book, that I wanted it on the one hand to be a, to proceed in real time. So I'm tracking them every, not exactly frame by frame, but certainly shot by shot. So there then had to be a way of um, also including stuff about my history of seeing uh, the film and indeed about the way, you know, because the story of how the film came to be made is quite interesting. Um, so that was, that was just a way of resolving that. Francis and I spoke at one point about doing it as a kind of parallel text with the, the film unspooling, the summary on one side and the kind of other stuff on the other. But that was, that, that, that didn't work. This was, so the footnotes was the only way uh, to do it. And as Francis, sometimes the footnotes, they go on for four or five yeah. pages. That's, uh, I mean, you know, I wrote it. I don't know how irritating that is as a reading experience. It might be a, I mean, it might be a little bit frustrating. But anyway, there was no other, no other way to do it. But I mean, footnotes are, they're, 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 they're called scholastic, aren't they? I mean, it's, this is not a scholastic tome. It's not a, it's not a textbook. You know what I mean? But yeah. the footnote belongs to is the stuff of libraries. It's the stuff of, mm. of set texts, if you like. But here, they they it, 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 it's almost jokingly uh, scholarly. No, 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 no offence to your erudition, because they're obviously full mm. of information. But they are they're sort of musings rather than kind of facts. Um, indeed, although there is of course a long tradition of the uh, the sort of clever, fun footnotes. You know, Gibbon's footnotes mm. are, are are wonderful, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. You know, and um, but you're right about the lightness. I mean, the, I mean of, of all the kind of things about my my a lot. Of, I mean, a lot of people don't like my books. It's weird that. But I mean, one <laughs> thing that nobody can deny that the epigraphs of my books are always fantastic. Yeah, very well. <laughs> so, and there's an epigraph from Camus. After all, the best way of talking about what you love is to speak of it lightly. And it seemed to me that was so. Since Tarkovsky uh, um, uh, inspires this reverence, and I can't bear reverence. Um, and uh, you know, it seemed to me that there was real scope for doing not an irreverent, not a sort of not a silly kind of book about Tarkovsky, but that thing of uh, uh, of, of a lightness of, of touch seemed to me it seemed appropriate. And I, got, I was fortunate really that I got the tone of this book very early on. And so much, you know, so much of the effort of writing a book is. It's a real grind and a waste of effort until you get the tone. And this was one of the books I've written where I got the tone right at the beginning, which meant that it was pretty much one of the easiest books I, I've written as well. And a 